Hi everyone, welcome to the tutorial, 3ds Max tutorial regarding the i2 software and using Forest Pro or Forest Lights in the i2 software. So firstly, in front of us, we have the 3ds Max interface with the perspective viewport open. So let us go back and let me show you how we can download the i2 software before we start up the 3ds Max. So go to your internet browser, search for www.i2soft.com and this is our i2 software web page. Go to products and click on forest pack. So we have some of the forest pack for free. To download for free, you could download the forest pack light or else you could download the forest pro because the forest pro, that's the best forest pack plugin, but it, you have to buy it. It wouldn't come for free. Yeah. So here I've downloaded the forest pack light and let us see how that works in our 3ds max so go back to our 3ds max interface and let's start using our forest light in the i2 software so first go to the create panel so let us create and go to shapes and let us create an ellipse or any shape or the area for the forest where we can Put in a lot of trees or the area where we could forest it up so here's the ellipse now let's go into the geometry and go to our drop down menu normally it will be stranded primitives so go down to the drop down menu here and click on i2 software so once we have downloaded the i2 software we get it to access it in 3ds max and it'll be under the standard primitives once we have it in our 3ds max so go to i2 and below that we can see forest light because i have downloaded the forest light version and not the forest pro because forest pro version is what you've got to buy it and forest light you get it for free so click on Forest Light or Forest Pro and you get another drop down command panel. Here we can select what tree we would like to choose to forest it in the library. So click on select and we have a wide range of trees here. We have the almond, barrel, red oak, all types of trees, all different colors, different shapes can select that or here on the left hand side we can have we have a forest library we have the shrubs we have the trees we also have 3d ones for 3d we don't have the trees yet because forest light does not offer 3d trees but it has 3d shrubs and flowers though but the forest pro offers the 3d trees as well so yeah that's an advantage having the forest pro or you can also under 3d you can also you also have the stones so going back to 2d and going back to our trees um so let's select i'm gonna select the bay laurel tree for today for now and just double click on it so we've already selected one model here it shows we've selected one model now just click on this shape and there you go we have forested the area you can see the tree and it's all come it's in 2d and it's come on a single plane yeah now we can modify this so go back to the modifier panel next to create and here on the modifier panel we have a lot of options we have the properties so below properties go to here we have one plane so here we can make it two planes or we could go three planes which would make it more denser or which would make give a three-dimensional aspect to the tree 
it could be four planes or it could be like a curved plane so if it's a curved plane let's see how a curved plane would look like oh okay it looks like as if the tree is blowing away oh that's interesting let's go back to the planes so we could also use medium animator plane what does this do this could oh this gives a quite a wavy tree which is also interesting that's cool yeah let's go back to that and I'm still going for the two planes and we're just going for the two dimensional planes so yeah let's put that there so with the forest light selected keep going down down to the property menu go down to here we have the rest of the properties which haven't been opened up so let's go or let's use the distribution map for now so click on the distribution map it opens out and here we have the spread how we want the spot forest to spread out so here it's spread one which is selected click on that and you can try out all the different types of spread see this one's a very scattered one this one's scattered we have spread two we have dense which is super dense we have full where the entire ellipse is completely completely filled with trees we also have the grid which makes it perfectly ordered we also have bands like the vertical band where we just have two bands and we also have groups so if you want trees grouped up maybe in a playground or maybe you could use that in a public space public park where trees grouped up you can use this the groups so let's go, go back to the spread one which we were using because that's what we want now yeah go down so we're done with the distribution map now we can see how we can create a hole or create a void space in between the forest in order to do that go to distribution map sorry go to the areas map so when we open the areas map we have a lot of options here we have an option showing adding a new spline so click on that so here we are adding a new spline we don't have so before we go to the areas we have to go back go to the create button and we have to go to shapes and we have to create a shape I'm gonna create a circle here to void the circle so that's my space where I don't want any trees so that's the void space so again going back to our go back to selecting our forest going back and selecting our forest going back to our forest light and going back to areas we have a new spline so under areas like I said we have to click on add new spline area so we have a new spline that's come up other than our ellipse which is our forest and here we have to pick the spline or pick the object which has to be voided so under spline click on this none tab and go click on our circle so the circle selected so below spine now you can see circle 001 selected now click on exclude button so there you go you've just created a void in your forest so that's a void in the forest that's what you wanted to create now certain other interesting options would be suppose you increase the size of the circle let's see what happens if we increase the size of the circle sorry I in started increasing the size of the ellipse instead of the four circle so when you decrease as you decrease the size of the circle you actually increase the forest area the circle becomes smaller so that's quite interesting so you can just keep modifying the circle 
or modifying the space or adding on to it that would entirely change the shape of your forest so that's quite interesting that's what I wanted to show you today so yes that's the end of the tutorial for doing the i2 software in the forest light thank you everyone